Lent's a strange time of year, isn't it? Uh, quite often we'll give something up for Lent, maybe chocolate. And then partway through the season, someone offers us a plate of biscuits and we eat the chocolate one and we feel guilty. Well, I think I've got a positive message for us today for Lent. That we shouldn't feel guilt for very long at all on any day of this season. Because Paul reminded of something when he wrote to the Roman church in chapter 8. He said, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Now, how's that possible? How is there no condemnation when we sin, when we hurt our Father in heaven, when we hurt others? Well, this picture helped me out a lot, actually, as I was reflecting coming up towards Ash Wednesday and the thought of ash. And there in this picture is uh, a burning timber and in the middle is a strong nail and, and when that fire is finished and the ashes are dissipated the nail's going to remain and the nail's important when we think of Paul also writing to the Colossian church in chapter 2 of that letter he wrote that Jesus cancelled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross our sin is dealt with and nailed to the cross and as I looked at this picture, I thought, actually, ashes blow away, only the nails remain. So those ashes of Ash Wednesday and those ashes that we hold on to dearly sometimes in terms of guilt, well, they blow away because of what Jesus dealt with on the cross. And those nails remain each and every day. Should we ever need to go back to our Father in heaven and ask for forgiveness? They're always there. And so guilt should only last a short moment. And then we return and we ask for that forgiveness. And then we know there is no condemnation in Christ because he nailed our sin to the cross. Ashes blow away. Only the nails remain.